underneath the Jeep, we're gonna leave the little plastic skid plate thingamajigger attached to the vehicle. Of course, you can remove it. It will make this job a little bit easier, but I, I, I'm a little guy, so I think I could get my hands up in there. So let me show you. Here's your wiring harness. There's a little button right here attached to the wiring harness. That's what you have to push that in to have it released and you just slide it right out. And then on the actual bulb, there's two little tabs, one on each side. Just squeeze those together and pull straight out. And you got your bulb. So with Bobby's help, we were able to get the bulbs out and it is definitely smaller than the OED row. As a matter of fact, this build quality is 10 times better. All right guys, we went into a slight snafu. We had to make some modifications to the H16 connections. And that is, you see this little, can, little tab. divot tab thingamajigger there? And there's two more on the other side. I had to take an X-Acto knife, shave those off, all three of those, because it just didn't line up very well. And then in addition to, you'll have to remove the little rubber washer thingamajigger there, and then take a little saw blade and dig it just a hair deeper, so because it just wouldn't smash into the connector very well. So once you do that, then it should work out fairly well. So we're gonna take these and we're gonna continue our installation. But I just felt like you guys might wanna know that. Oh,